in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this beanie in an adult small size, an adult medium, and an adult large size. Please follow along with my instructions for this tutorial. Hi, my wonderful crochet friends. Welcome to my channel. Today, we will be making this double crochet cluster beanie. This beanie comes in three easy sizes. We will follow the pattern exactly for all three sizes. The only difference will be the rows. This beanie is made with two different colors of acrylic yarn. We are using Red Heart Super Saver in a dark purple and a light purple. This pattern is an easy double crochet cluster pattern. One row we will make single crochets, change colors, and then the next row will be our double crochet clusters. This pattern here is a double brim beanie which I definitely recommend. Double brim beanies are much more comfortable and you do not need to make it very small to stretch to fit your head. But it's an easy customizable beanie. So if you choose, you can always make it with just a single brim or a double brim, or you could just pick up with the correct stitch count for your size make the top portion of the hat and then join and work in the round and you can create a bucket hat for the summer. For this pattern, for this yarn, so this is a number four acrylic yarn, we will be using a five millimeter crochet hook. a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle of your choice. In this tutorial, I will be making the adult small size. This example right here is a size medium beanie hat. The diameter all the way around measures 20 inches. The size small will measure 18 inches and your size large will measure 22 inches. For the tutorial, I will begin with the brim using the lighter purple, and our clusters will be made with the darker purple. To begin, we will need to make a slip knot. If you would like a single sized brim and not the folded double brim, you will need to chain 10 chains. But if you would like a folded double brim, you will need to chain 20 chains. In the second chain from our hook, we will need to make one single crochet. You can either go into that top back loop, or you can turn it and you can crochet into the back bump. We are going to continue with one single crochet in each of the remaining chains.
For row two, we will chain one. We will tighten down that chain one. We will turn our work. In that same chain here, this very first chain, we are going to look for that back loop of that chain. So we have our front and then we have our back. We're going to go into that back loop and make one single crochet. Go into the back loop of each of the remaining chains and single crochet. Continue one single crochet in the back bump of each chain, and I will meet you at the end. In that last chain in the back loop, we will make one single crochet, chain one, and tighten down that chain one and then turn and we will repeat row two so we will look for that back loop of that same chain and make one single crochet in the back loop one single crochet in each chain and this will be our repeat for our brim and you can choose to make these loose or tight it's totally up to you however you crochet our multiple for our double crochet cluster is a multiple of two so we will need an even number of rows for our brim Chain one, tighten down that chain one and turn. And for row four, we will repeat the same thing. One single crochet in the back loop of each chain. For a size small, for an 18 inch all the way around diameter, you will need to repeat this pattern until you complete 56 rows. For a size medium, for 20 inches in diameter, you will need to complete 62 rows. For a size large, which is 22 inches in diameter, you will need to repeat this until you complete 68 rows. We will need to complete our ribbing. So go ahead and complete the amount of rows for your size. I will meet you back when I complete 56 rows. 
So I have 56 rows completed. And in case you have a hard time counting your rows, so here is your slip knot. Here is row one, row two, row three, row four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. And that is how you count your rows. And I needed 56 rows for a size small. A size medium needs 62 rows. A size large needs 68 rows. So I ended on row 56. I will chain one. And I will pull and tighten that down. I will turn my work. And now it is time to join our ribbing together. So I have my ribbing here. I have both ends folded together. I have my yarn tail on this end. What we will do now we are going to single crochet both sides together and we are going to do this in the outside loops. So on this side, I need the front loop and on this side, I need that back loop. I'm going to insert into that front loop here. And I'm going to go into the back loop on the opposite side here. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops and single crochet. So front loop here and back loop here. And single crochet. I'm going to do this all the way across to close this ribbing together. just like this. That way our ridge looks very similar to the ridges we already created. Go ahead and finish this, closing the side completely together, and I will meet you back at the end. Our next step is we will pull up our loop, remove our hook, here's our ribbing, fully joined. Now we are going to grab and we are going to pinch it together like this. Go all the way around just like this. Insert our hook. Now we need to find that ridge. So this ridge here is the single crochet in those outside loops that we just made. And then we also have it here. So I'm going to try to line those up the best I can. Chain one. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go down a little bit. So not in this chain, but in this chain. I'm going to go down 
two chains down and insert and go through that front part of the ribbing. And now I'm going to find that back part here and I'm going to go down two chains here. Yarn over and pull that through and make one single crochet. We will need one single crochet for each row. And I have 56 rows, so I need 56 single crochets. Let me show you something really quickly. So right here at the top of your ribbing, you'll see right here that has three chains combined. Right here, that's only just one loop. That's only one strand. And then right here is that ribbing part, which is much more sturdy than that one strand. So what we are going to do we're going to go into right here. So we're going to skip this one strand because that's not strong enough. I don't want to put my stitch into that. And I already have one single crochet made. So I'm going to go in right here. And then I'm going to look here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in on the opposite side. And I'm, I'm skipping. I'm going in right before that one little strand there. And I'm going to make one single crochet and I'm still using the same color. So I have two single crochets. Now I'm going to skip over that one strand here and that one strand here. I'm going to go directly into this ribbing here. So I'm not going to go into that first chain. I'm going to go into that second one. I'm going to insert and I'm going to look and I'm going to insert on the other side and single crochet. I'm going to do the same thing. So here you see this is a row. This right here, this one loop, and this here is the same row. I just don't want to go into that one strand. So I want to go in right here. Do the same thing on the opposite side and single crochet. And now we're skipping over that one strand. We're going to go into that ribbing. And we'll look here and I see that ribbing and single crochet. We are going to continue this all the way around. Then once we're done, we're going to count and make sure that we have an even number of single crochets. Go ahead and finish this up and this is our row one for our body of our hat, our single crochets joining and closing for a double brim. I will meet you back at the end for our next step.
I counted my single crochets and I have 56 single crochets. Now I am going to slip stitch join into that single crochet chain. Pull that a little tight. Now I will switch colors. I will grab my yarn here and I will pinch. I will yarn over and pull through. Chain two, which technically I have three chains here. So now I'm just going to pull this light purple and dark purple. I'm just going to pull them both down. I will skip the same chain. So this very first chain here, our same chain, I will skip that chain. And in the next chain, we will make a four double crochet cluster. So I will yarn over for a double crochet, skipping this chain and going into the next. And I am going to crochet over my yarn tails, so I will just lay those in the front here. And we'll yarn over and pull through and up. Yarn over and pull through two. And now I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to repeat this three more times in that same chain. Total of four. So I have four double crochets here. I have one, two, three, four, five loops on my hook. Going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops and that is our double crochet cluster we will now chain one skip one chain one we will skip the next chain and into the next we will make another four double crochet cluster which is four double crochet together I will skip the next chain and then in the next go into that chain and I'm going to crochet over my yarn tails. Make that four double crochet together. One, two, three, four, five loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Chain one. Skip one. Then four double crochets together in the next. And repeat chain one skip one and then cluster Go ahead and repeat this all the way around for row two 
and I will meet you back at the end. At the end here, I made a double crochet cluster in the very last chain. And the reason why is because that same chain we began with, we skipped that one, and then in the next made the double crochet cluster. So in your very last single crochet, you're going to want to make a double crochet cluster. You're going to slip stitch join. We are going to go into that first, that first chain you see here. So we'll skip over those chains. And then this chain here, that very first chain for your double crochet cluster, we will slip stitch join. Now we will switch colors. So we will pinch and hold right here. Chain one. I'm going to take that purple and I'm going to pull that down. And it's going to tighten that down. So I will create a chain with that new yarn here. In this same space here, we will make two single crochets. And this is row three with our new color. I'm going to crochet over top of my yarn end, so I'm just going to lay them in the front. And in this space right here, I'm going to make two single crochets. One. And that's two. Chain one. We will skip the cluster and in a space right here in between those two clusters, we will make two single crochets. And all sizes are following the same exact pattern. And that is what your work should look like. After you make your two single crochets, chain one, skip over the cluster, and right here in the space in between those two clusters, two single crochets. Chain one. Two single crochets in between those two clusters. Continue on with this pattern all the way until the end of this row, and I will meet you back then. I am at the end of row three. I just finished my last two single crochets in between my two clusters. I chained one and now I will slip stitch join. So I'm going to slip stitch join into that first single crochet chain. Pull that tight. Now I will change colors. We will repeat row two. So our repeat rows are row two, the clusters, and row three, the two single crochets, chain one, skip one. So I'm just going to repeat what I did before for row two. I will skip over the two single crochets and I will make my cluster in this chain one space here. A chain one in between the two sets of single crochets. 
go into this same space here and make my double crochet cluster. I have five chain five loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all loops. Chain one. I will skip the two single crochets and in this chain one space here, I will make my cluster. Right here. Pull through all loops, chain one. So I'm just repeating what I did before. Five loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops, chain one. Chain one space, four double crochet cluster. Pull through all five loops, chain one. We will repeat this pattern all the way around for row four. Go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around. Make your last cluster in this last chain one space here. And I will meet you back at the end. So we are at the end of row four. I made my last cluster stitch right here in that space right after the two single crochets, chain one. Now we'll go ahead and slip stitch join. So when you pull these chains, you'll see, you'll see that first stitch right there. We're going to go into that stitch and slip stitch join. We will change colors again. For row five, and pull those down, chain one, and we will repeat row three. Row three are the two single crochets in between the clusters. Chain one, skip the cluster, two single crochets in between the two clusters. And this is row five of the body of the hat. Chain one, skip over the cluster, and between the two clusters, two single crochets.
go ahead and finish up this row for row five. And I will meet you back at the end. We are at the end of row five and I made my two single crochets, chain one. We're going to skip over this last cluster here and we will slip stitch join into that first, that chain of that first single crochet. We completed rows one through rows five. For size small, for row six, you will begin your decreases. For size medium and large, you will repeat row two and row three one more time. So from rows one through seven, you will do the same pattern here, this two row repeat. So for row six, for medium and large, you will repeat rows two and row four, and then you will change colors and you will repeat one more time and then you will begin your decreases for row eight. We will now change colors. And this will be rows, this is row six for size small, and this is also row eight for medium and large. We will skip the first two single crochets. We will go into our first chain one space, which is right here. We will make one regular four double crochet cluster. In this next chain one space, one cluster. chain one. In the next two chain one spaces, we will make a four double crochet together. So we are going to join these two chain one spaces into one cluster. And this is for all three sizes. We will go into this next chain one space. make two double crochet together. We have three loops on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your hook. Go into this next chain one space and make a two double crochet together. So we have four double crochets. Two here and two here uncompleted. We have five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and that is a four double crochet together using two chain one spaces. We will now all three chain one, For all three sizes, in the next four chain one spaces, we will make one four double crochet regular cluster in each four chain one spaces. Into this next chain one space and make one cluster.
chain one, next three, chain one spaces, one cluster. chain one, next two chain one spaces, one cluster. chain one, next chain one space, one cluster. Chain one. In our first chain one space, we have one regular cluster. We joined the next two chain one spaces into one cluster. The next four chain one spaces, we have one cluster in each. For all three sizes, small, medium, and large, we will make one more decrease. The next two chain one spaces we will join together with a four double crochet cluster just like before. That's two double crochet together. Wrap the yarn around your hook, insert into this next chain one space and repeat. We have two double crochets here, two double crochets here, five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five, joining those two chain one spaces into one cluster. Chain one. For size small, in the next 10 chain one spaces, you will make one double crochet cluster in each of the 10 chain one spaces. For size medium, you will do this in the next 13 chain one spaces. For size large, you will do this in the next 16 chain one spaces. And I am doing a size small for this tutorial, so I will make one four double crochet cluster, a regular cluster in the next 10 chain one spaces. Go ahead and complete your clusters for your size and I will meet you back once we are finished. I completed the amount of clusters that I needed for my size. For size small, you need 10 clusters, 10 regular clusters in a row. For size medium, you need 13 clusters in a row. And for size large, you will need 16 clusters in a row. The next step for all three sizes, the next two chain one spaces, we need to make a decrease just like before. We'll go into that next chain one space and make the two double crochet together, uncompleted. Wrap that yarn around your hook one more time. Go into that next chain one space and make two uncompleted 
double crochets together. That's four uncompleted double crochets together. We have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Chain one. Our next step will be a repeat of what we did in the beginning, but backwards. So for the next four, the next four chain one spaces will be regular clusters. And this is for all three sizes. We have five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five. Chain one, the next three chain one spaces, one cluster. Chain one. So it's two clusters so far. Three clusters so far. Four clusters, chain one. For all three sizes, you should have three chain one spaces left. In the next two chain one spaces, make a four double crochet together using the two chain one spaces, just like before. Two uncompleted double crochets together. Wrap the yarn around your hook, dip down into that second chain one space, and repeat. Four double crochets together, chain one. And the last chain one space here, one regular cluster. chain one and now we need to slip stitch join into the chain of that first cluster we just completed row six four size small, row eight, four size medium, and row eight, four size large. For all three sizes, we need to change color. Chain one. Tighten down our yarn tails. For all three sizes, we will make two single crochets in this first open space here in between our clusters, just like before. Chain one, skip over the next cluster in the next chain one space in between the two clusters, two single crochets.
chain one. We will repeat this all the way around for this row. This right here where we decreased, joining the two chain one spaces together into one cluster, we will skip over that and in between this cluster and this cluster, we will make our two single crochets. Chain one, skip the cluster into the chain one space, two single crochets. So we are repeating row three here. Anytime, anytime we do this row here with the two single crochet, chain one, skip one cluster, two single crochet, we will not be decreasing. Go ahead and continue this row for all three sizes, and I will meet you back at the end. After you make your last two single crochet, chain one, skip that last cluster, and slip stitch join into the first single crochet of the row. Change colors. In this next row for a size small, this is row eight. For a medium and large, this will be row ten. We will change colors and chain two. We will tighten down our yarn tails here. We will be repeating what we did before for row six for a size small and row eight for medium and large. We will repeat the same process. We will skip over the first two single crochets into this first chain one space. We will make one cluster. Chain one. In the next chain two spaces, we will make that decrease. We'll go into that next chain one space and make two uncompleted double crochets. Wrap the yarn around our hook, go into that next chain one space and make two uncompleted double crochets. So we are making the four double crochet together using the two chain one spaces. Yarn over, pull through all five loops on our hook, chain one. We have our first decrease of this row. The next four chain one spaces, we will make one regular cluster in each of those four chain one spaces. chain one into that next chain one space one regular cluster chain one repeat in the next two 
chain one spaces, one regular cluster in each. Chain one, in that fourth chain one space, one cluster. So for all three sizes, we are repeating the same thing. Chain one. We are repeating what we did two rows below. We made one regular cluster in our first chain one space. One combined cluster, combining two chain one spaces into one cluster. And then the next four chain one spaces, one regular cluster in each. So for all three sizes, our next step, we will need to make a decrease in the next two chain one spaces. So we need to combine the next two chain one spaces into one cluster, just like before. For all three sizes. So it's two uncompleted double crochets. Go into that next chain one space and repeat. We have four uncompleted double crochets. Yarn over, pull through all five loops, chain one. Our next step will be for size small, you will make one regular cluster in the next six chain one spaces. For size medium, you will make one regular cluster in the next nine chain one spaces. And for size large, you will make one cluster in the next 12 chain one spaces. Go ahead and complete what you need for your size and I will meet you back after I complete six clusters. After you complete the amount of clusters you need for your size, for all three sizes, our next step will be to make a decrease in the next two chains. So the next two chain one spaces, we will make that four double crochet together. So two uncompleted in the next chain one space. And then in the following chain one space, another two uncompleted double crochets. We have four uncompleted double crochets. Yarn over, pull through all five, chain one. For all three sizes, in the next four chain one spaces, we will make one cluster in each. After you complete those four double crochet clusters in a row, you'll chain one. You should have three chain one spaces left. In the next two chain one spaces, make a four double crochet together decrease, just like we did before.
chain one in that last chain one space, make one regular cluster. Chain one. Now it is time to slip stitch join at the end of our row. We need to find that first double crochet chain here. Slip stitch join. And now you can see our beanie hat is starting to curve, which is perfect. That is exactly what we need. We will now change colors and prepare for the next row. For all three sizes, we will do the same process. We will change colors. Tighten that down. And this row will be our two single crochet, chain one, skip one cluster. No decreases for this row. Chain one, skip one cluster, repeat in the next chain one space. Go ahead and continue this pattern for this row for all three sizes, and I will meet you back at the end of this row. For our next row, we will change colors. We will begin our clusters in the next chain one space. For a size small, this will be row 10. For a medium and a large, this will be row 12. In this first chain one space, we will make one regular cluster. Chain one. For all three sizes, in the next two chain one spaces, we will all make a four double crochet together decrease, just like before, into the next chain one space. We'll make two uncompleted double crochets. Jump over to the next chain one space and make two uncompleted double crochets. We have four uncompleted double crochets. Yarn over, pull through all five loops to combine the cluster into one. Chain one. For all three sizes in the next two chain one spaces, we will make one cluster in each.
For all three sizes, in the next two chain one spaces, we will make our decrease. So we will make that four double crochet together, combining those two chain one spaces, just like before. Two uncompleted double crochets, jump over to the next chain one space and make two uncompleted double crochets. Four uncompleted double crochets, yarn over, pull through all five loops to combine the cluster. Chain one. In the next two chain one spaces, regular double crochet clusters. And this is for all three sizes. And now we will repeat. In the next two chain one spaces, combined, making that four double crochet, two, four together, combining those two chain one spaces into one cluster. Then the next two chain one spaces, one regular cluster in each, and then repeat the decrease in the next two chain one spaces. So we will repeat this all the way across. So the next two chain one spaces will be a decrease. Chain one, next two chain one spaces, one regular cluster in both of those chain one spaces. Next two chain one spaces, combine those together with our decrease. And then repeat. We'll repeat this pattern all the way around until we are finished. and then decrease in those next two chain one spaces. And I am doing a size small, so I'm at the end in this last chain one space. It's just a regular cluster. Chain one at the end, and then I will slip stitch join into that first chain of that first double crochet cluster.
our next row. We will repeat the two single crochet into that same space here right before our first cluster. We chain one. Now we will make our two single crochets. Chain one, skip a cluster into the next chain one space, two single crochets. Chain one, skip a cluster and into the next chain one space, two single crochets. Chain one. We will repeat this all the way around for all three sizes. Go ahead and continue this row and I will meet you back at the end. At the end, after you make your last two single crochets in your chain one, we will skip that cluster and then we will slip stitch join. We will switch colors. We will chain two and pull that down. So we have our two chains. For all three sizes, what we will do next in each two chain, chain one spaces, I mean, and in, in each chain one space, we will make our decrease. So on this next chain one space, we'll make the two uncompleted double crochets. Wrap the yarn around our hook, dip down into the next chain one space, and make two uncompleted double crochets. We have four uncompleted double crochets, yarn over, pull through all five loops to combine into one cluster, chain one, and we will repeat this in every two chain one spaces. Next two chain one spaces, we will make that decrease. And this is for all three sizes. Chain one and repeat. We will repeat this all the way around. Combining and joining each two chain one spaces into one cluster. Go ahead and repeat this in every two chain one spaces all the way around until the end and I will meet you back then. Once you reach the end of this row, if there's only one chain one space left, 
just go ahead and make one regular cluster. Chain one. And we will slip stitch join into that first double crochet cluster chain. And for this tutorial, I chose to do a size small. So I have a small hole here at the top. If you would like, you can go ahead and join your yarn needle into your, your yarn tail. And you can go ahead and close this at the top if you would like, or for the size small and the size medium, if you would like to do one more row before you do this, you can change color with your next color. And we can do a single crochet in each chain all the way around, then begin to close our top. If you are doing a size large, what I want you to do is I want you to complete the last two rows that you just completed. So for a size large, you will have a much bigger opening. And what I would do is I would join with your next color and do your two single crochet, chain one, skip one cluster, two single crochet, chain one, skip one cluster, then change colors and repeat this last row here where we made a four double crochet together in each of the two chain one spaces all the way around. So that is what I would do for a size large. I would repeat this last row here of the cluster and the last row here of the single crochet. And then once you complete that, then I want you to change color and I want you to chain one with your new color and tighten that down and make another chain. In each chain one space, And in each cluster, make one single crochet all the way around, creating a nice clean edge for the top. So I'm just making one single crochet in each cluster chain and in each chain one space. Go into this cluster chain, make one single crochet, make one single crochet in that chain one space. I'm crocheting over top of my yarn tail of that other color. I'm going to go into that chain one space here in between the clusters and single crochet. Then go into the chain of the cluster and single crochet. I'm just going to repeat this all the way around for my last row. We'll slip stitch join in that first single crochet chain. 
and give you a look at the top. So now we have a really nice color change here. Our hole is only the size of a quarter, which is perfect. So that is what your last row should look like. Now it is time to clip our ends and grab our yarn tail. Or not our yarn tail, our yarn needle. Clip our ends and grab our yarn needle. And I, I need a long enough yarn tail to weave in and close this top. And I really only need about 10 to 12 inches to weave in. I will need to weave in any and all of my yarn ends that I do have. I have a yarn needle here, and this here is just a piece of wire that I folded in half and twisted at the end. This will help me to pull this thick yarn through the small eye of the needle. Here I have a loop. I'm just going to pull that yarn tail and pull it through that loop and bind that off. And here we have that small hole here. I will thread this thick yarn into this little, uh, uh, what, what could we call it? A thread, um, a needle threader, I guess you can call it. It's just a homemade needle threader. And then I just pull that through. What I will do now, I will go into all of the front loops of each chain. Only the, fr only the front loops. I won't go into both loops only the front loops of each chain. I will do this all the way around. And if you would like to put a homemade pom-pom beanie or pom-pom for your beanie, that would be great. I would go ahead and get that ready as well. So I've gone into the front loops of only about four or five chains. Now I'm just going to squeeze that closed. I'm going to continue to go into the front loops only of each chain. I'll probably go into the next four chains, front loops of the next four chains, and then I'll squeeze it closed again. So I'll just pinch and squeeze it closed. And repeat. And then I'll just squeeze it closed. And now I'll just pinch and hold. Squeeze it closed. So now I have this closed. I believe I have one more chain left here. Now I'm going to go into right here where I began. And 
pull. And having this really sharp thin yarn needle really, really helps to get into those small tight spaces. So now I'm just working it into a circle. So I'm threading in through those threads that I went into for those front loops. I'm just working my way around and this helps to keep that secure. I really like this yarn needle that I got. These yarn needles, by the way, I got at Walmart. They're called Hello Hobby Doll Needles for yarn and heavy thread. I really, really like these. It was $2 and it came with five needles. I really definitely prefer using this over those really thick yarn needles. So I'm just continuing going through these threads again in a circle along the top. And this is going to give a really nice secure close. Look at that. Completely closed looks great and professional. Now we're going to go straight through to the inside. So I'm just going to go through that. I'm not going to go through the center. I need that center for the outside parts for the pom-pom. Now in this tutorial I will not be adding a pom-pom but you're more than welcome to watch my tutorial. I do have a tutorial on how to make homemade pom-poms and um, also I have tips and tricks on how to add them with beads actually beads are a really nice thing to use or buttons uh, whichever you prefer but I do have I do have a tutorial on how to do that so now on the inside here's what the inside looks like at the top very nice. Everything's nice and very tight. Now I will clip my yarn. In any and all yarn tails, I will weave in on the inside. So here I have a yarn tail hanging out. I'm going to insert my hook on the inside. I'm going to try to enter right there where it is and I'm going to grab it and pull it through on the inside. Now we can turn our beanie inside out and weave in any of the yarn ends but we will weave these in on the inside. So here you can see where I, I crocheted over my ends. We can leave those there like that or we can clip those down. Then any of the long ones we need to weave in and hide in the color threads. So here I have a light purple. I will want to hide this in through here. So in through here and through here and through here and through here. And that's basically all you need to do. So these I will clip down these little stragglers here. They're not long enough to weave in, but these long ones here, I do need to weave these in. And I will do the same process I will do the same process here with my yarn threader or needle threader. And with this really small yarn needle, I can fit right into any stitches that I would like to hide this into. So 
So I'll just go back down through that chain. That's that chain two. Here I have some clusters. I can go in through these clusters if I'd like. Any way you would like to do it. And go back up through if I want. Up, up through that cluster. Any way you want to hide it. And go down to the cluster if I want. Just like that. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Just go ahead and weave in all your yarn ends. Turn inside out. Add a pom-pom to your beanie. Let's take a look at the front of our work here. So here is the front of our beanie. And this is the size small. We made all of the decreased clusters on the back and on the sides here. That way the front looks pretty and perfect. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make lots and lots of these beanies in all these different sizes. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, the like button. That will help a whole lot. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. That subscription bell is right below the video right here. Click that and it will give you notification updates every time a new tutorial video comes out.